Hi 5K, happy Thursday. Today for our Bible lesson, we are gonna wrap up baby Moses, Moses with the rhyming Bible and the rest of our really awesome activity. I'm excited to show you that. First, let's begin with prayer. Ready? Now before I run to play, let me not forget to pray to God who kept me through the night and woke me with the morning light. Amen. All right, boys and girls, today let's finish up baby Moses. Remember yesterday we talked about him for the first time. Moses is a really important character in the Bible and you will get to talk a lot about him in your Bible studies coming up. So this is the first part of Moses' Moses's story, and let's talk about it again with the Priming Bible. Here we go. A long time ago, there lived a wicked king we tried to do, who tried to do a very wicked thing. The king didn't like the Israelites, so he made a rule that was very impolite. Throw away the baby boys into the Nile, said the evil king with a wicked smile. Remember that evil king of Egypt wanted to get rid of all the baby Israelite boys and kill them so that they wouldn't grow up big and strong. So sad. A certain mother had a baby boy. He was cute and sweet, and he brought her such joy. I can't throw my baby into the Nile, so I'll try my best to hide him for a while. But the baby boy made some noise, like all of the little other boys. So she took a little pitch and she took some reeds and she made a basket boat that would suit her needs. She went to the Nile and let the basket float while her daughter Miriam watched the little boat. So the pitch and some reeds, that means that they made it out of the things that were growing next to the river. And the Nile was the name of the river that, they were, that was in Egypt, famous river. So here you can see Miriam watching the little basket as it floated away with little baby Moses in there. So, you remember what happens after he goes down the river? Let's see. The princess of Egypt came down the path. She was coming to the river to give herself a bath. The princess saw the basket and was curious as could be. She said to her servants, bring it here to me. They opened the basket and the boy began to cry. He said, where, where? And she began to sigh. It's an Israelite boy and he looked so sweet. And I'm sure he's hungry and would like to eat. So here we see the little princess of Egypt and her servant that's bringing in maybe Moses out of the water. And who else do you see in that? Where else do you see something? You see Miriam in the reeds hiding and she's keeping an eye on Moses. Do you remember what happens next after that? Let's see. Then out came his sister who was hiding nearby. She said she'd find a nurse so the baby wouldn't cry. The princess agreed, so she ran to find her mother. How glad Miriam was to help her baby brother. He soon went to live with king's own daughter, and she called him Moses, for she took him from the water. This is kind of a neat thing that I talked about, or that I didn't talk about yesterday. The reason that the king's daughter named him, the reason that his name was Moses, was because she drew him out of water, and that's what Moses actually means in that language. Moses means to draw out of water. And that's exactly what happened. The princess took him out of water and then she took care of him and protected him. So that is our really neat ending to Joseph. I'm sorry, Moses. So to finish our project today, you should, first of all, from yesterday, if you didn't cut or color it yet, you'll have to do this first. So you should have a little baby Moses cut out and colored like that and a basket that looks like this. Hopefully you didn't cut along the dotted line. If you did, we'll just make it work, that's okay. But we have it cut around the edges, and then you'll notice that there's a little flap that we already cut in the middle. And 
I also have Mrs. Barsh here. She's going to help us with our part today. Okay. First, we're going to glue baby Moses onto our basket. And now this part is going to be a little tricky, but if you follow directions, it'll be okay. So for the basket, I want you to put to put glue just on the bottom of baby Moses. Just on or let's see. Put sorry, put glue just above the basket right here so that we can put baby Moses in the basket. So let me show you. I'm going to take a glue stick and put glue above the basket right here. And that's how we'll attach Moses so that he can be a little bit in the basket like that. Stick him on like that. And now you have Moses inside like you can see that he's in there and now for the next part the reason i have mrs barsh here is she is going to be my grown-up so you're going to have your grown-up and they are going to trace your hand here's what's going to happen i'm going to put my hand down like this and mrs barsh is going to trace my hand for me so pretend that i am you I have my hand on there, the green paper. Mrs. Bosch is my grown-up. She is tracing my fingers, as you can see. Miss Ott, so you can put both of yours on the one piece. Miss Ott will need two pieces to put the hands on So what? So now you can see on the green sheet of paper that I have an outline of my hand. And I'll show you what this is supposed to be so that you can picture it. Thank you, Mrs. Barsh. Mm -hmm. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. You can see that the basket is in here and baby Moses is just peeking out of here. But you can fold down the grass reads and then you can see baby moses in there so this is baby moses in the river where the grass is covering him up you can take him out and there he is in the grass or out of the grass so that's what the re that's what the finished product so should look like so after you glued that little part and then you put baby moses in there after you traced your hand this is how you can cut out your hands. It might be a little, you can see that it'll be tricky to cut out all those fingers, but I have a trick for you. Mrs. Barsh has a trick for you. Here's what you do. You can cut along the top of your fingers, just like this. See how I cut out the extra above the fingers? Now, what you can do is you can cut triangles inside the fingers and that's how you can not cut off any fingers and leave the grass above there so now i'll show you i'm going to cut along these triangles i cut one side of the triangle like that and then on the other side i cut the other side of the triangle like that and now i have that divide between the fingers for the grass I'll do another one just to show you. You can cut along one side like that. And then along the other side like that. And you can cut all your, your whole hand out just like that. I'll finish cutting this one out quickly so that I can show you how to glue on that last, the, your two hands onto the basket. So I'm doing that again with the triangle trick and this will be very good practice for your cutting skills as you cut around each of those. And it's so neat because your hands are used to make the shape of that. I love when that happens. 
So, once you have your baby Moses in, make sure you have baby Moses in first. You can glue the hand, just the bottom of the hand, and he's going to cover up baby Moses like that. So I'll show you where to glue on the hand, okay? You don't have to do the whole glue on the hand so that you can still fold it back. So that you can still fold it back like this. See how I only had glue around the bottom here so that they can fold down? That's what you're going to do. Your glue can just be on the bottom palm of that hand right there. So I'm going to put a circle of glue like that. And I'll stick the hand. The thumbs can go on the inside so that they sprawl out like that. So I'll put my thumb to the inside and I'll push it on like that. And now I just have one hand, but since I didn't glue the whole thing, just that bottom, I can fold it down and now you can see him. Now baby Moses is just a little bit covered up. And then once you're done and you have your hands folded or hands um, glued, you can fold that top part down too so that the basket, so that you can close them up. And that would be the end of our Baby Moses project. I, I'm really excited to see your finished products for your Baby Moses basket. I think this is a really, really fun project. So I hope that you think it's fun too. I hope you enjoy having your grown-up trace and you cut good practice cutting around your fingers. And now you have a really cute little Baby Moses in there. So thank you, 5K. I hope you enjoyed this first awesome part of Baby Moses' story. And when you are done with this project, you can take, a, you can have your grown-up take a picture of it and then upload it to the Yellow Religion folder. So thank you very, very much, students and parents. I hope you have a great rest of your day.